So for the eight years I've been driving and enjoying my 70 square back, I've been using the OEM, now at least 50 year old seat belts. The R3 point, however, they are non-retracting and self-adjustable. Now the only two people that really drive this car are my father and I, and we're the same height and about the same weight. But yet, it always seems to still come unadjusted. Well, today I want to do an install of the J-Bugs kit of the retractable three-point seat belts in my 64 notch back. The car needed seat belts. The seat belt kit was on sale. I went ahead and grabbed it, and it could be a future upgrade for the square back as well. Let's see what we can do. So this kit is from J-Bugs, and now we'll go over what's in the kit. So we have our buckles. It comes with two sets of uh, rear seat uh, buckle base lap belts. I know that you could get the kit where it's just your normal lap belts that they've had on the market for years and years that aren't the uh, buckle style, but nice to have them. Your hardware, and then I had already opened this, but this is your three-point retractable seat belt. Now, there weren't instructions, however, I think we should be able to figure this out. So I'm going to pull the seats in the notch back, and uh, we'll see what we could do. So with a little trial and error and common sense, this is what I was able to come up with. You get this L bracket, and you get long hardware and short hardware. I use the long hardware for both, and the way that this L bracket is just gives you a reference that I had the bolt head on the inside of the bracket and the threads hanging out. You get nuts and lock washers, so I got a long bolt going through the body to secure it to the body, long bolt going up. And what that does is it secures the retractor and the fixed point. And then you have your uh, connection up here. And now from there, we can go and we can buckle in. And then this is a 12 inch buckle. And there you have it for that. And so there are reference photos on the website themselves. But I wanted to give you a reference of what I did, as well as tell you what tools I used for OEM hardware for both here and up here. And there was nothing there on my car at least. It was a 19 millimeter. That's just a reference of what was up top. But the hardware that comes with the kit is uh, 17 millimeter nuts and 5 eighths or 16 millimeter uh bolt heads and so I ended up getting some wrenches, couple ratchets, extensions, deep and shallow sockets and that's what I got for this side. I'm also going to throw a carpet kit. I had an extra carpet kit on the shelf so we'll pop that in the car and I'm excited to show you the final product. So for now I got just the uh base of the carpet seat in because eventually I'll take the car apart and paint it but this works for now double-sided tape just to kind of keep it from sliding got the shifter boot back on got the uh, parking brake boot back on here are our buckles and then we could see these here and uh, they work quite well so what I can do here is I'll grab it. And just like any retractor, you kind of got to be careful. You can't really yank on it. But just like that now, the occupant will be safe and secure. So the installation was quite easy. Just a little bit of trial and error. Swapping between the large bolts and the 
shorter bolts and uh, figuring out where to put them all. I got a short bolt holding it to the pillar. Down here, I'll get my light. I have the long bolt going underneath. We can see there. Um, as I mentioned, the way that the L bracket is, all of the uh, hardware is facing out so the bolt head doesn't interfere with the retractor itself. But they're both long bolts here, and then back there, um, I used the short bolts for the buckles themselves so they didn't interfere with the uh, shifter rod. But yeah, here we have it. It will be a safe upgrade, and uh, this kit costs just a little bit under 300 bucks, but you can't really put a price on safety, so for me, well worth it and uh, probably an upgrade I'll do on my other two Type 3s. Thank you for watching. Hope this helps, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.